In Doug Ford's Ontario cabinet, Khalid Rashid was seen as a rising star until now. His resignation is linked to a political controversy that has pushed Ford to his lowest in the polls since becoming premier in 2018. How Ford's government gave select developers the right to build housing in Ontario's protected greenbelt, potentially boosting the value of their land by billions of dollars. The story the Premier is trying to tell us about this $8.3 billion backroom deal is simply not true. We all know it. Ontarians know it. The new twist in the Greenbelt story involves this Las Vegas hotel, massages and many petties. Rashid told Ontario's Integrity Commissioner under oath that he'd gone to Vegas with one of Ford's top political staffers, Amin Masoudi, and that they happened to bump into Shakir Rematola, a developer who was friends with Ford and whose land in the Greenbelt got the green light for housing. The main thing in real estate, in community building, that we look for is the location. But reports by CTV News and the Trillium website revealed that Rashid, Ford staffer and the developer did more than just bump into each other. They booked massages at the same time in the hotel spa along with Manny Petty's. In a statement, Ford announced that Rashid had not only stepped down as minister, but also resigned from the Ontario PC caucus and that he will only be given a chance to return to the party fold if the integrity commissioner clears him. The premier continues to just dig in, uh, dig in on these dirty deals uh, that really seem to only benefit a very few wealthy insiders. Barely two weeks ago, Ford's housing minister also resigned over the Greenbelt saga, a controversy that doesn't appear to be going away anytime soon. Mike Crawley, CBC News, Toronto.